For those watching at home, here's what we do know. It starts with sums of money up to a million dollars that were given to causes near and dear to the Prime Minister, including a donation of nearly $200,000 to the Trudeau Foundation and a gift of $50,000 to put a statue of Pierre Trudeau up. These transfers were arranged by a billionaire who was described in the Globe and Mail as a senior official in a network of state promoters around the world. That's a quote. He appeared at Liberal Party fundraisers in the intimate presence of the Prime Minister and accounting, uh, and according to sources, was reimbursed for his activities from the Communist Party in Beijing. This should raise concern. So again, two questions remain. What did the Prime Minister know, and when did he know about it? And again, the NDP have a choice to make today. Today they have a simple choice. Do they want to know, or will they vote for this Prime Minister's continued cover-up? But back to what we know, the goal of these endeavours Everything I just talked about was to curry favour with the government that was perceived to be friendlier to communist interests. As one official quoted saying, red is good, blue is bad. They sought cash for access, they sought positive trade terms, they sought international cooperation. And by most accounts, the relationship was going swimmingly well. And many in Beijing were quote unquote, extremely pleased.